excited the way she's come out of the gate in conference. Well, Kalia has just been amazing the first two games. Um, I was concerned the Western Carolina game because we went into overtime versus UNC Greensboro, and she was so exhausted. But she just has a knack to dig deep, and uh, obviously she scored a bunch of points for us. That's the thing that jumps out to everybody. But she also took a huge charge at the end of the Western Carolina game that that was was very very timely. But she's you know, she's playing some really good basketball right now. You have to like the way your team responded. I mean, in a couple of overtime games, a young team to, to come out of the gate and win those games on the road. That's yeah, but nice. Bo both overtime games were we had the lead and then we, we could have won the game in regulation the first game and then we went into overtime and in the second game we had to hit a three to go into overtime. So they were both different scenarios, but we played really, really well both overtime games. How big would it be to, to go to Sanford and, and start 3-0 and on the road in the conference? Well, I mean, you know, Sanford's a really, really good basketball team, and, and all we can do is focus on us getting better each day. I mean, they're, they're going to be a unique uh, opponent for us because they're not like any team in our league, and so it'll be interesting to see how our players respond to a different style of play. What, what do they do that's different than, than They run in Princeton, really? more of a Princeton okay. uh, motion offense. Is, how hard is that to adjust? And, and I guess you've had some time to, to get ready for it, not like a typical two days or anything. You yeah, know. but it's still hard. They, you know, Princeton is, is not just plays, it's, it's reading the defense, and so, uh, you know, it's – it's, it's, it's a little bit different teaching our, our younger players how to how to defend their type of offense.